Hey guys, and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary, and it's time for a species spotlight. Now, because you guys have been asking for it, I got in some coolie loaches. And if you've watched many of my videos dealing with loaches, you know that the coolies kind of give me the heebie jeebies. But I have to admit, they really are cute with their little barbells, and their behavior is just adorable. So let's take a look, and I'll tell you more about them. So I just dropped some food in here so we would see these guys, and you'll notice that I have a pile of sand in the tank for them. And that's because coolie loaches are really fascinating in that they actually utilize the substrate as part of their feeding behavior. So in the wild, they come from a pretty wide range, most often collected out of Malaysia, where they inhabit shallow streams. Um, that are, have a lot of shade from both the forest canopy as well as marginal vegetation like emergent growth plants. And the substrate of their wild habitat is peat and mud and sand and silt with lots of leaf litter. So in the wild they feed by sifting through all that debris and eating the insect larva as well as, you know, digestible things like uh, broken down plant matter, all, you know, bugs, whatever. So in an aquarium, it's especially important to have a nice soft substrate for them because they'll wait for the food to hit the bottom a lot of the times and then they'll actually gulp up mouthfuls of the fine sand and process it through their gills and then collect their food that way. So they're still sort of waiting here for all the food to hit the sand, but you'll see there's 50 of them in this aquarium and they're all grouped together and they're all grouped on that substrate and they're all hanging out under the wood. So it's really important in your aquarium at home that you offer areas of, of shade like this where they can all group together. It's also especially important that you keep them in decent sized groups. Now the internet will tell you six or more, but I really think 10 or more is really important for this species. When you keep them in too few of numbers or in an improper setup, they fail to feed well, they're not very active, and they're all in all just not nearly as fun as they can be when you keep them in a bigger group. Now in the wild, they come from pretty soft water. Because of that peat and silt and leaf litter, the pH can be all the way down to three. But in an aquarium, they can take a range up to moderate hardness with a pH of around seven. Now they are a tropical species, so they like things in the mid to high 70s. They do awesome with fish like Bararis, your little uh, micro rasboras, Sundadanios, um, any other rasbora, small, small peaceful danio, little gourami, wild bettas, things like that. Other fish that are, are pretty mild mannered. And they do awesome in a planted aquarium with a lot of driftwood, a nice fine sand substrate, and good areas of shading with Anubias, Crips, Java Fern, things like that. All in all, even though they give me the willies, which I'll show you why. Oh God, that behavior there is what gives me the willies, but they are really adorable. And even I have to admit that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you let me know below if you have any fish that you'd like me to spotlight or if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. Um, as always, make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. Thanks as always for your continued support.